let's consider now what may be the bathroom additions, kind of what you may need to step up if we have more severe weakness. And this would be the, somebody who's having more difficulty with transfers. And we're trying to reduce the transfers on loved ones. So we're not having to transfer out of bed, transfer to the toilet, transfer to the shower, transfer to the chair, transfer to back to bed, transfer to get dressed. So we're trying to minimize what some of those transfers may be. And that's kind of what we're talking about at this stage. Again, you may be somebody who can stand up and do all of those transfers, you know, 10 times a day, but maybe that ninth, that, that 11th one is too much to do. These would be our resources to help you navigate through that part of the disease. So when I look at this um, slide here, adaptations for toileting and bathing with severe weakness, I would consider a couple of options here. A rolling shower chair. This would be something that I get out of bed, I get into a rolling shower chair, and the individual is then rolled over the toilet. We want to make sure that it can still align with your toilet height that you may have adjusted to. We want to make sure that it aligns with the bidet that you have bought. So keep that in mind when you're thinking about what I want to do in the future. The rolling shower chair is a great tool just to allow you to roll over the toilet. However, let's note here that you cannot um, now use that to roll into the shower. So we would still have to consider how am I going to get into that shower if I chose to do that. But for toileting, um, this the, the rolling shower chair gets rid of that one transfer throughout the day. We could consider a patient lift system. Uh, we will not be able to get into um, the too, too little space to be able to maneuver through that. And that is not the recommended way to use a lift system in the bathroom. A bedside commode. Now, a bedside commode is something you could have next to your bed if you wanted. The nice thing about it is you can take it into the bathroom and now it acts as a toilet safety frame because you can remove the um, toileting bucket and I will show you that here in just a moment. So a bedside commode as you see here this can be a safety toilet safety frame so maybe that very first piece you buy is this because then if I need to in the middle of the night I can have it in the in the bedroom if I need to. Um, this could also help me with transfers over time uh, in the bathroom. Um, the, ba the basin can be removed for emptying and cleaning, and it may also act as your shower chair. What we do recommend is that the height can be adjusted and that you have drop down arms, meaning that the arms can be lifted up or down on both sides. This is going to allow us to make transfers if we need a slide board across two surfaces more easily. This would be, have to be moved into different locations depending on where you may want the need to have this. So then we get into our rolling shower chair. There's many different types. The very bottom one is a very simple shower chair. They are meant to lock the wheels in place. Somebody is meant to help you with this um, transfer on that one. As we get up into the uh, more sophisticated ones on the very top, that's a rehab shower chair. Supposedly somebody could utilize their arms to roll over the toilet because of the types of wheelchair that is. It's a little more heavy duty and can also be stepped into a reclining posture that can be more comfortable for somebody if we can roll that into the shower. If we're just using it for toileting, then you may want this just to be the simple um, mechanism that you see of just rolling over the toilet. Portable patient lift systems are great for in and out of bed. They are not good for maneuvering somebody through the house. Um, they are meant to lift somebody out of bed and onto the next device that we need to use to get into the shower. A rolling shower chair, for example, over the toilet and then back to bed, and we may have to do a sponge bath. If we can, we can use a rolling shower chair to roll over the toilet and back into the shower. It really depends on the mechanism of how your home is set up. Uh, rolling shower chairs can be small, and they can allow you to be pushed into the shower to be able to use the toilet, or we're back to the bedside commode. So it may be the lift over the bedside commode. All of these just need to be modified to your ability and the home setup. Okay, there are other types of systems that could allow in the room, in the bathroom that I just showed you that would help with a transfer. It would be called a wall lift system. These are electric, and so if the electricity goes out, you need to consider how you would make that transfer. What I like about this is it would allow you to lift the patient out of a wheelchair or um, uh, the rolling shower chair into the shower. It is meant to only be used in that location. It's not meant to be used in other locations, but one of these in the bathroom may be an option to help lift the individual from the toilet into the uh, tub shower or from a power wheelchair to the toilet to the tub. It might be a great system for that. These uh, insurance does not cover this and they can be more costly, but it can be an option to assist with getting into the shower. 
There are also overhead lift systems. Sometimes people will set these up to travel all the way through their house, get out of bed in this overhead lift system, travel into the bathroom, over the toilet, and then into the shower. This works great if you don't have a lot of junctions. If you just have to go straight across um, into the bathroom, that works, that works very well. If you have to go down a hall and into another room, it gets more costly. Sometimes we can just do a simple overhead lift system that you see up above, which is a frame system. And just one of those set up in the bathroom can easily allow somebody to li be lifted out of a wheelchair onto the toilet and into the bathtub or shower. The transfer slide chair. This is another option. It does take up a lot of space. In the bathroom I've shown you, this would not be feasible unless you were to set it up over the toilet. So for example, what you see on this is a reclining posture, very comfortable. It may be feasible to take that roll, that part that you see in front removes and now becomes our rolling shower chair. So these, these pieces can fit together. So you leave that as a um, tub transfer bench and then you connect the rolling shower chair to it. Um, a brand name on this is called Shower Buddy uh, that lets you kind of transfer in this higher level capacity. Very comfortable, but can be costly and can take up too much space sometimes. So if I were to summarize what you may choose to do for a severe weakness, you would want to consider a bedside commode um, in the bedroom or as a um, device over the toilet. You may want to consider a rolling shower chair. If you could consider an overhead lift, a, um, a, 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 a wall lift, uh, there's many different options there. You could also take the time and money to turn your bathroom into a roll in shower. I don't recommend things like tub cutouts or the uh, standalone tubs that allow you to step in to take a bath and that's just because uh, with progression of weakness it's very hard to transfer into those types of devices for somebody to put you in there if you're unable to move. Additional considerations is that doorway widths to accommodate a power wheelchair are 28 inches. Entryway doorways are typically enough for you when you're moving into your home. They're 30 to 32. But bath and bedroom doors are often 26 to 28. To accommodate this, you can use a double hinge to help increase that door. You can take the door off. But you need that extra little width to be able to get you through. When we're talking rolling shower chairs, we can make those more narrow so that you actually can roll into the shower. So the power wheelchair may not be the device to get you into the bathroom, but the rolling shower chair can help you. Turning radius for a power wheelchair uh, is 25 inches, which is quite a large space. I'm going to show you just a couple other bathrooms as you think about this, kind of what kind of adaptions could I make. This is a long bathroom with the tub and toilet on the left and the tub shower on the right where you would just open the, open, open the curtain to be able to step in the tub shower. This can be adapted and it's going to be very similar to what we saw before. You're going to consider the shower chair. You may consider a tub transfer bench, but let's consider can we actually get to the toilet now that we have that tub transfer bench potentially sticking out into the bathroom. A raised toilet seat could certainly be helpful. A bidet would be helpful. Grab bars in this space would be helpful. This, is, this bathroom will allow for a four-wheel walker and for manual wheelchair access, but not turning around. Most likely, a power wheelchair will go in there, but only in a front and back plane. Challenges will be that power wheelchair cannot turn around unable to access the sink in a manual or power wheelchair, but in early stages, being able to perch your bum uh, on a high stool to be able to brush your teeth may be useful or to blow dry your hair or shave. The alignment for the toilet and shower will make a lift system quite difficult. There's no way that you would be able to roll a system in. And a wall mount may work, but it's only going to be able to do one of those transfers, potentially just to the um, shower based on where you chose to put that. An overhead lift system would work great as well. Just keep in mind that we, after we're keeping the overhead lift system, I might need a junction to go into the shower and I might need a junction to go over to the toilet. Here is somebody who took the similar type of bathroom that you see and turned it into a rolling shower. So the same bathtub location turned into, became walled off and now an entrance at the end of the shower to be able to roll in. And this worked out great. So now we have an option to turn our bathroom into a rolling shower chair with the bathroom that you just saw. That is more costly. And this individual chose to do an overhead lift system all the way through the bathroom because it was straight from the bedroom. But do consider all of the junctions that you have to make to, to make this happen 
it does cost more money. Here's one last bathroom um, to consider. And again, it's a little bit different on how you might choose to manage this, but it's all manageable. This is a toilet in a separate room. So we would consider the same thing here. Uh, we would use a raised toilet seat, a bidet, grab bars, a rolling shower chair to get into this bathroom. The nice thing about this is that we already have a shower here. And if we wanted to turn this into a rolling shower, we could. We would put a small threshold ramp there where you see the lift there to allow us to roll into the shower and then do all of our um, showering uh, from there. I would remove the door and take that into a curtain so that we don't have a ton of um, splashing. You could also put a shower chair in there. Um, initially, uh, a tub transfer bench would not be as effective in this situation because it's just going to take up the entire doorway, but it could work um, early on if we didn't have to want deal with that lip. So um, the sink is not accessible. However, the toilet now, if we had a rolling shower chair, could be a great uh, use in this, in this setting. So the power wheelchair may be difficult to turn around, but I really encourage you as we head into more severe weakness that this is not our modality. We use uh, a lift system to get out of bed. We move, go to a rolling shower chair. We roll over the toilet. We come back to bed um, or we roll into the shower. And then we do our sponge baths or anything else that we may need. Um, and you could also, in that same setup that I just showed you, you could use a uh, toilet and shower. You could use, uh, I'm sorry, because of the different rooms, you will not be able to use a toilet and a shower to make the overhead lift system. It would be quite difficult. So I've kind of given you a lot of food for thought to think about your own bathroom, and there's challenges for all different setups. One of the things we may recommend is a home health evaluation so that a physical therapist and occupational therapist can help you make some challenges and suggestions um, to help make your house more accessible. There are ways to make this work. It just requires a little bit more um, imagination of how you're going to make your setup work. My goal is to not have to have you nickel and dime and don't buy unnecessary equipment early that may not be the most efficient for you early or later in the disease stage. Thank you for your time. And if you have other questions, please ask at your next appointment. Thank you so much.